Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, um, we're going to virtually install the RAM, okay? So, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you a picture of inside of my computer and I'll try, try, just try to visualize the instructions in your mind, okay? Because I'm really not in the mood to disconnect all my cables, take off my computer again and do all this over, so just cope with it. Okay. So, alright, here we are. Inside my computer. My computer is a Dell Dimension 4700. Um, in the insides are basically made up of the same parts, but it is not homogeneous, okay? You wouldn't see the exact same parts and setup as in every computer as you, as you would see in mine, okay? Now, in... Okay, let, let, me, let me give you a sense of perspective. Let's zoom out a little bit. This is the front of the computer, where you have, like, where you touch, like, the, the buttons to open and close the CD tray. And this is the back where you plug all your things into. All right. So now that we know that, let me give you a, a, a brief tour. Here's the power supply. As you can see, there are power cables running from it and connecting to this green piece of circuitry here. That is your main board at some point. Mine connects somewhere over here. Um, as you can see, I have a Dell main board. These are my DVD drives, this is a read, this is a drive that can read only, this is a drive that can read and burn DVDs. This is my floppy drive, um, at the bottom here, this is my hard drive, it's just a little chassis. This is my NIC card, um, this is my CMOS battery, this is my video card, it's a crappy Radeon X300, you might want to avoid that card at all costs. This is my heatsink. No, it, it's just, it doesn't look like this in all computers. What this plastic, this green thing here is, it's, it's, a, it's a vent. Um, the CPU fan is right here, and when it takes air in, it goes all the way down, pushes against my, my processor or whatever it is at the bottom, behind this green piece of plastic, and then shoots it out through, um, to the rest of the system, and then circulates through here and everything. Sadly though, that the air has dust, and well, you can just imagine how dusty inside of my PC was before I cleaned it. Um, but we're interested in the RAM, alright? Now, I have... This is where the RAM is installed, okay? In this section here of my motherboard. Look for anything that looks like this. I have one, two, three, four RAM slots to, to, to put RAM chips in. Um, I'm not sure if you can completely make it out, but this is one stick of RAM right here, and this is another stick of RAM. It's very thin and long, okay? Now, to install RAM, what you do is, these these um, white and black um, controls here, these are, are hinged, okay? So what you do is, you take your thumb and you push it out in this direction, alright? You push it like, like a hinge to get it in order to get it to lie down on the push it like if you're trying to get it to lie down on your motherboard you then take your your stick of your stick of ram and you push it into one of these slots right here that, that this this right here that i'm stroking my mouse on that didn't sound right but this right here is uh a, an empty space a slot and that's where that's where the chip actually goes in um, it goes in with the, you'll see a copper, you'll see a copper tip end of it, that's where, that's where that goes in. And then you simply push these hinges back up to lock the RAM into place, and Bob's your uncle, that, that, that's it. Now let's see if I have another picture to show you. All right. This is the side that goes into the space. This is a gap. You will know which way to put your RAM in because if you put it, if you put it in the wrong way, the gap wouldn't fit snug over a piece of obstructing plastic that is in the open space. Okay, so you stick it in this way. It's the label. I'll take you through all of these um, numbers in a little while. All right, 
and that's about it. This is our arm. This is our arm. Chip looks in your in your hand. The picture is a little blurry, but that's that that's how big it gets. And I have relatively small hands. So that's it for this part of the tutorial.